This is Mike Callahan, Dr. Fallfinder, and welcome to your Better Session Time tutorial on how to grab audio tracks from CDs with Audio Grabber. This is just a brief overview of Audio Grabber. It's a free program, very nicely done. I stuck a CD in my CD drive here. You can click on settings. You can arrange to have a file name created from the artist name, track number, track name, subdirectories. You can define all of these different things to have them how you want them. You can play tracks. You can deselect tracks that you don't want to grab. Under file, you can make a file into an MP3. You can compare two files. On the CD, you can grab things. You can display CD text info if it's available. You can pull in information from the free online database. And there's also a player. You can also go through and normalize tracks, which smooths things out. And when you're ready, you can just click Grab, it's showing you the peak level of volume found, it's showing that normalization is not selected. It's reading the CD. You can see how fast it's working to pull in the data and how little CPU time it's taking. If you want, you can pause the process. You can skip a track. You can abort, abort the whole thing. You can shut down your PC. And in just a matter of minutes, you're done and you've grabbed all the tracks off the CD. So, this is a brief overview of Audio Grabber. It's a cool, free program for working with audio. And that's all there is to it.